It is written that in the beginning there lived a pair of bunnies. They could not bear young until they were two months old. Once they reached maturity, they produced one new pair of bunnies each month. The ultimate question is, how many bunnies were created at the beginning of each month? Let's take a look. In the beginning of the first month, there was born one pair of baby bunnies. At the beginning of the second month, there was one pair of growing bunnies. Then, in the third month, the bunnies became adults and created life, one new pair of bunnies for a grand total of two pairs of bunnies. In the fourth month, there was one pair of adult bunnies, one pair of growing bunnies, and one pair of baby bunnies for a total of three pairs. In the fifth month, there were two pairs of adult bunnies, one pair of growing bunnies, and two pairs of baby bunnies for a total of five pairs. In the sixth month, there were three pairs of adult bunnies, two pairs of growing bunnies, and three pairs of baby bunnies for a total of eight pairs. In the seventh month, there were five pairs of adult bunnies, three pairs of growing bunnies, and five pairs of baby bunnies for a total of 13 pairs. In the eighth month, there were eight pairs of adult bunnies, five pairs of growing bunnies, and eight pairs of baby bunnies for a total of 21 pairs. In the ninth month, there were 13 pairs of adult bunnies, eight pairs of growing bunnies, and 13 pairs of baby bunnies for a total of 34 pairs. In the 10th month, there were 21 pairs of adult bunnies, 13 pairs of growing bunnies, and 21 pairs of adult bunnies for a total of 55 pairs. This is an example of the Fibonacci sequence. 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, 55, and so on. The proportional ratio taken from the sequence produces a constant of approximately 1.618, a ratio that we see all over the world. Yeah,